Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. We are going to continue our discussion about meter signals. Uh, in last video tutorial, we discussed there are the third category of uh, signal in even and odd categorization of signals. A signal which is neither even nor odd. So we understood that signal and we knew that the signal, the such signals are uh, composition of two different parts. One part is even and other part is odd. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to resolve those two parts and I'm going to evaluate the mathematical uh, representation and mathematical equations for those even and odd parts. So let's start our discussion. Let's say X of T is an either signal which has both part E of T and O of T, right? That means it has even part available within it and it, it has also odd part available, right? So it is generalized equation and we need to calculate their uh, exact equations, right? Just to uh, proceed further, because we know that in evaluation of uh, even and odd signals, uh, time reversal version is always very important for the signal uh, which for which we are considering even and odd signals. So let's take the time reversal of it and mathematically how one can do it one has to replace t by minus t, right? So we have to replace t by minus t. So this equation will become x of minus t, x e of minus t plus x o of minus t, right? So wherever we found t, we have replaced it with minus t. Now, the next thing we know that for an even signal, there is a relationship, a mathematical relationship we have already discussed in previous video tutorials. And for our signals, there is also a mathematical criteria. So both those criteria for even and odd are applicable for even and odd parts. So what are those criteria? So criteria of even signal is X of minus T equal to X of T. So it will become X of X E of minus T over X equals to X of E T. Similarly for odd signal X of minus T is minus times of X of T. So for odd part, it will be X of minus T equals to minus times of X of OT, right? By putting these equation in above equation, uh, this equation will simplify it and it will become X of minus T equal to X E of T minus times of X O of T. I hope everybody can do this sum. So uh, now we have two equations. Equation number one, which was the original signal and equation two, which is for time reversal signal. And for uh, the evaluation of even and odd part, we need to add them up, right? So adding one and two, it will become uh, X of T and X of minus T will be added this equation, right? Similarly, two, similarly, two times of X E of T, this X E of T and this X E of T both will be added and it will become two times of X E of T. And plus x o of t and minus x o of t, both of these terms will cancel. So this equation will get simplified. And if we sim further simplify it, it will become x e of t equal to x of t plus x of minus t divided by two, right? Which is basically, you can say kind of average of uh, this original signal plus the time reversal signal. And that is equal to the even part of the signal. Now let's solve the part, for, uh, solve these equation for odd parts. So what are those equations? Let me write it again. So X of T is equal to X E of T plus X O of T. That was the original equation. Then we have an equation for time reversal version X of minus T equals to X E of T minus times of X of T. So now uh, for in case of even uh, part, we actually added these equation. And now we are going to subtract one of the equation from one. So, so we are subtracting equation two from equation one. So what is going to happen? Uh, X of T minus X of minus T, right? And even part will get subtracted and this term will cancel. And this odd part will this time will sum up because this minus minus will become plus. So what will be the final equation or the simplified equation? That will be X of T minus X of minus T equals to twice of X O of T. And if we solve it for odd part, so this will become X of OT equals to original signal minus the time reversal and then divide by two, right? In case of even sick part, it was just an average of the two signal. But in this uh, part, we are basically taking half of 
the, the difference of the two signals. So if I uh, sum up the complete discussion and uh, show the exact formulas for even an odd part of any signal, uh, it will be this one. So even part is basically X of T, the original signal plus X of minus T. That means uh, we are adding the time reversal in the original signal and divided by two, it will become even part. And for odd part, we are subtracting the time reversal from its original signal and then divided by two. So this is odd part. So these are the two main equations, which one will have to use to evaluate the even and odd part of the signal. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. I hope you have understand how one can evaluate even an odd part from the original signal if the signal is given. And these are the mathematical formulas to evaluate those even and odd parts. Uh, in next video tutorials, uh, I'm going to show you the mathematical problems and examples of mathematical and graphical form uh, for the evaluation of even and odd part. Uh, still, if you have any uh, question regarding uh, this even an odd part evaluation or the derivation, you can put up your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.